All right, so you have created an Onshape account and you are into the program. The first thing I want my students to do is up here, this is your username. I'd like for you to click on that, choose my account, and then let's go to preferences. And of course you can change your language here. What I really want you to, to think about are the units, really, specifically. If you're from Europe, for example, and you would like to use a comma as a decimal separator, that's fine with me. You can go ahead and click that there. In our lab, primarily, we're going to be dealing with millimeters. And I can't remember what the default is, but if it's inches, you want to click here, change it to millimeters. Linear acceleration doesn't matter too much. The angle, definitely, we want degrees. The mass, you're going to want that to be kilograms or grams. Okay, so I set mine to grams, and then the, all of these are other SI units. One that you might want to swap over if you're more familiar with PSI, then that may be something you choose here. The time format, I've set it to 24 hours. Please make sure you press Save Changes. Again, the most important is the length needs, should be in millimeters, really needs to be in millimeters. The mass should be in grams. Save the changes. And then if you're coming to us with some experience with other CAD programs, for example, SolidWorks or AutoCAD, you can change the mouse controls to, to be something that you're familiar with. But I'm just going to choose the Onshape default. I like those. And you can see how to rotate and pan and zoom and things like that here. Okay. If you are a Mac user, typically uh, this is a PC world and Mac users are kind of the odd people out when you are dealing with things like engineering and something that's not like a, a blockbuster app. So you might want to reverse the scroll wheel zoom direction if you're a Mac user. You can change the environment profiles here. You might want to take a look, especially if you've done some CAD before, of what the keyboard shortcuts are, the general part studio assembly shortcuts. If you're an introductory student, you can look at them, but you don't need to memorize these. Also, if you have you know have previous CAD experience, you might want to include some of these in a shortcut toolbar. Whenever you're designing a sketch, you can press the S key and this little menu would pop up right next to your mouse, wherever your mouse is. And so you can quickly and easily select these tools as you're designing. And then the material libraries, we're going to talk about that later on. You can create your own custom materials. Um, Onshape has its own material library. There are a few that I change and this is my PCR custom uh, material library there. But um, the Onshape library is perfectly fine. It has a lot of materials that I don't use, and so I've kind of deleted those. So it's a little bit easier for me to, to select the material that I'm using. All right, that's it. So uh, for my students, the big, big, big thing is to make sure that you change this to millimeters and you change this up here to gram, these units. All right, thanks.